for frosting. Stay frosty. Petro. Moss pit. Or moss pit, depending on how you look at it. Peanut. Pennant. Never really used these ones, but I suppose maybe with like a lumen vase they could be good. And the cooldown's alright. It's snow dwellers, so they could increase the attack. Good health. Maybe. Just because I never do them. Hmm. Not a huge fan of any of those. Ron Dust seems okay. Not not too many champs that I really like here. Um, it's either Ron Dust. It's like do, basically, do I want to play Snow Dweller or not, or Core Clunk Master? Uh, maybe we'll try this out. I don't know. I've never, like I said, I never really used this uh, variant of the champ, so let's give it a shot. Spike. Snoof or Loki or Sneasel could work too. I'm just thinking, like, what? Maybe Snoof here. I mean, good cooldown. Could provide me a little bit of extra snow. I think maybe Snoof. Alright, we got a smackback penguin. No worries there, although technically Peanut <laughs> does have a worry there. Alright, I will just have Peanut take two hits here. And we'll combo next turn. That. Hey, not bad, huh? Debated between flame water and that. Alright, Waddle Goons luckily doesn't have like fury or some crap, but we would have been fine in either way. Let's blast this idiot. I should probably kill Waddle Goons before they come in. I mean, I can get a big combo anyhow. Alright, good. He came up there, so that's good for us. Might as well take that guy out. Making money. I suppose we should take the one hit with that, because I could technically take a seven if I had to, but I doubt I'll have to. Alright, never mind. We're just gonna kind of you kill that. And then I want to frost hang here. And then it's pretty much GG at this point. As that fight typically does. You know, I'm going to complain about it every time until they actually fix it, but I still say that there are some of these fights that are so stupidly imbalanced, and that's one of them. It's like, that fight is always the easiest, unless the rare occasion where Waddle Goons comes in with, like, a Fury Charm and you can't, like, stop him or something. But that's probably user error to some degree. And then, 
So it's like by far the easiest of those first fights, and it, you by far make the most money out of it almost always. And then same thing with like Truffle versus Crunker. It's like Truffle is so much uh, easier than Crunker, and you make literally like four to five times as much gold on a slow day. Okay. This is a tough one because like you do want to get better cards because the starting deck is so bad with Snow Dweller, but also their their uh, spread of Travelers is by far the best of the three. So it's like you might low roll and just never be able to pick up enough Travelers if you don't get the two at the start, but I think we're so likely to get a good Traveler anyway that I think we just take the Treasures because that's what we need to find is like good treasures like these aren't really it uh, early Hongo Hammer can be pretty okay though Zimlin Wafers is always okay but if the deck sucks it's not that good I don't know Hongo's Hammer is it really that good the reason I might take it here is because I don't currently have Barrage or Aimless or long shot, so like Infernoco becomes a real big problem. I mean, all of the, the third bosses become a problem. This at least gives me a way to kill the back line. So I think I will take it. Even though it's like not... I don't think it's that good of a card. Okay, Pinkberry Juice, I think. Even though the Spice Stones could pop off, this just is always going to be good. I could have took the Scrap in hopes that I get a crunk Clunker, but whatever. Right, we got a demonized blunky, which really doesn't matter. Or a jumbo or a rooibos. Technically the rooibos has the most synergy with my deck, but it's probably the worst of the three. Lean toward jumbo, I gotta think. Then I've got yeah, I think it's I think it's jumbo. Okay, we're going to put you down first, then Jumbo. I think I'd like to kill Uba with a thing, if possible. So far, Peanut is super good, I gotta say. I'm gonna go like this. Yeah, let's just take him out like that. I'm not too interested in... Okay, the Porcupine is a problem as well. That will kill that. That's more of a threat than this, so let's do that. I will also do this once. Don't really want that guy to attack. I will need somebody to eat hits. So. Let's go like this. Jumbo can take the hit if I have to. He's got five cooldowns, so I'm not like super worried about it. Maybe Jumbo should have hit down there, I don't know. My thought is like I can at least put this guy on some sort of a cooldown here. A 
play two. I guess Jumbo's just going to be the punching bag here. Let's do this. I guess you can just kill that. And I'll combo it. We'll just freeze this guy if we can. Maybe there's a world where we can uh, combo this. Probably not, though. Actually, it looks like we can, so that's good. some money. Alright, this is good. We get a frozen traveler on our way to the woolly snail. I like it. Snow cake, pretty easy decision here. Hmm. Demona, but her health is decreased. Or a fulbert. Don't need the Fire Fist, because we already got Jumbo. Fulbert currently doesn't have anything, but... You'd be so incredibly... It'd be so incredibly rare to not get Spice or Acorn from here on out. Demona doesn't currently... I mean, it, Demona could be good too, but she does have a in decreased health. I do like Demona quite a lot. You know, Hongo Hammer, there's a lot for it, but I, I kind of lean toward Fulbert here. I think both are kind of like S minus tier. Ooh, that's tough. Shell Shield or Pepper Flag. Is it really that tough though? Because Shell Shield is just like the call, right? <laughs> Mm, the cake is not worth a trash, I would say, but we're probably taking Pepper Reaper. I think out of these we want the Fulbert. I got a whole team of three cooldowns. That's kind of cool. Down. Uh, Pepper Reaper. Do I want a Frost Bloom? I kind of don't like Frostbloom that much anymore. I used to like it more, but I think an Overcranked, it's not good enough. And I much prefer the Bell. I also don't really find myself taking Slapcrackers that much these days. It's like, I need... The only time I really take it, 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 it... I just need, like, something broken already in hand to take it. And it just doesn't have anything broken with us right now. I think we go Charm first. Just to see if that makes us not want the Pepper Reaper. <laughs> Real cool first charm, thanks. I swear charms are so bad. They're so bad. I, I, I think I'm like so much different than most of the uh, Wild Frost players. Like a lot of people like charms or like want to like stack them up and I'm just like, dude, they're so not worth it, like, 90% of the time. It's like, I just wasted my money there. I would have been better off just getting a Frost Bloom, but whatever. We'll take the Pepper Reaper. So now I have two cards that interact with Fulbert, so we'll keep the crown there for sure. And maybe we can make use of that charm later. Infernoko has Trash. Minimoko has Frost. Porcupine has that. Okay, I think I should start with this. That way I could kill this with the sword if I have to. Then I put the snoof down. Alright, well, that's acceptable, I guess. He'll technically die before he attacks. Let's 
let's do this so that it dies. Combo. Oh, that's a fucking problem, though. Alright, we'll take this hit. Do kind of need this guy to. So we got the. Hmm. I may even want to just do the pep raper and the jumbo here. Definitely need to get him in. We'll delay Infernoco by a turn here. Reaper here. I'm gonna do this. And then I'll put the Pepper Reaper on Fulbert. He'll get taken out naturally. I hope this goes on one of the two out of three targets here. I could bring the enemies in, but I don't think I want to do that. Yeah, that's good. Alright, Fulbert and Peanut actually technically do the same, but I guess we want to start with Peanut. Because the unit... When he responds, all right. Let's snow cake this guy, I guess. guy locked down. I know Snoof's attacking this turn, but like, I don't really have a better play. I, he, he, I don't want him to lose the cooldown, so... It is what it is. This motherfucker's problem with his moose charm. <clears throat> It's like, I have to take my hits with the Jumbo, but which means he'll never actually get to attack. Here, let's do this. That's good. See, I'm glad I took the Fulbert. The Fulbert has been, like, my primary source of being able to deal with anybody in this fight. Alright, we'll freeze him here, but he will lose a cooldown. Let's put that there. Hopefully this doesn't go on that one out of four target, but if it does, it does. Nice. I guess it's only a two cooldown there. I didn't factor in that he would die there, but whatever. That's another fight, though. Infernoco, you'll never earn as much money as the other fight, and it's way harder than the other fight. It's just completely imbalanced, just objectively. Okay, uh, probably the... I don't like early Noomlin, because it often goes on stuff you're just removing anyway. Uh, I think I do like the consume, we got the snow cake, and then probably just the crown, unless there's a frenzy charm target, which, I don't know, it's pretty good on, like, pink berry juice. Maybe even shell shield. You know, you can get, uh, quite a lot of procs on Fulbert, but it's kind of a one and done which might be okay. But I don't know. Curse Crown and Cake Charm is probably just what we'll take. I'll default Curse Crown to the uh, 
the snow cake if I have to. This is pretty good. I could get a bunch of anacles and it's shared at the end. Yep, that's a good that's a good path right there. Uh, probably just the snow cake, I suppose. Uh, we have the consume thing. I don't have any charms on anything. I guess I could have technically maybe taken that frenzy charm with the shade slug. I don't know. I still think like Cruise Crown is unbeatable, and the K Breakfast Sun thing is like pretty unbeatable as well. I think. A lot of times, you gotta take the play that is less sexy. Because, yes, it's broken in a lot of fights, but I'm guaranteeing you that, like, I will be glad in the hardest fights often to just have had the crown and to be able to play Snow Cake an additional time. Freaking Frostbell with that. It's probably just charm here. I don't know. Blaze T I could take. I just don't think Blaze T other than like the peanut particularly does much here. And I would like to actually get value out of this shade slug if I can. Rather than waiting an entire extra fight for it. <laughs> I mean it's okay, but it's just hilarious. It's like, yep, shade slug, baby. Alright, well, take care of that scrappy sword. So, like I said, we'll just default to the snow cake here. Or one of my snow cakes. That way I guarantee that I don't have to, like, you know, I always get my breakfast on value, and obviously we want this in all the hardest fights. Alright, this motherfucker with fury definitely gets the uh, tap there. Okay, I might as well just put the health on full boot. Though I suppose I still take this hit with peanut, I don't know. So... Actually, we should take the hit here so I can do extra damage. We'll just get this out of here. Probably snow cake the gawk. Does seven damage. By the way, this is why I take the uh, snow cake there. Ah, oh, that fucking pygmy. is a problem. Worst target, I think, but whatever. <clears throat> well, um, would have loved to kill that guy, but I think we gotta, uh, Do this, I think. I guess I'll take it there. Good hit. There we go. That is what we want. Alright, I 
think we need to frost this guy. Take that hit and then get this guy in. It's <laughs> the reason I don't go S or S plus with Fulbert. It's like there are bullcrap turns like that where, you know, I didn't really have much of an option. Alright, let's keep clearing these guys out. Yeah, I mean, we're never going to combo these guys, so... We'll just bully Muttonhead now. Didn't make much money that fight, but at least that fight I can argue is technically not harder than the other fights, necessarily. And there was opportunity to make money, I just didn't have the, um, the proper route there, I guess. Well, also, like, why are the maps like this needlessly complicated? <laughs> Not a huge fan of these. Chrono can be good, but not really with my deck. It's not like like Jumbo's just gonna be a chump blocker at the end and like I, I just find that I don't know. It's good until the last fight, you know, until the heart of the swarm. And then the heart of the swarm it's like I technically have acorn for it, I guess. Maybe I'll end up with scrap, but it's like, how much effort can you put into making this thing work? And it doesn't even do that much with what I got right now. Uh, I could do Spice Sparklers, I guess. But that, again, doesn't really do anything in the final fight. kind of think we just skip here, unfortunately. Pretty sure this is better than this. Just money that I can't use yet and a treasure. Versus hopefully being able to finally... You know, 70,000 fights later, finally use this Shade Slug and maybe get a better Traveler. 
Yuki or Pudi? Yuki has some big time synergy with Snowcake, so I imagine it's Yuki. <clears throat> and we'll just drop Snoof. Plus, I got the Acorn and the Health for Yuki. I think we switch out Fulbert as our crowned unit now. Yuki seems better. Let's see what this is. <sighs> Completely useless. Uh, I guess I'll put it on Yuki, though. It's not that useless. It's just useless in the final fight. Uh, I don't even want to Shade Slug it, though. I'm just going to put it on for now. Like, I... I really need something that's relevant in the final fight. So once again, just showing that charms are crap. <laughs> I've had three of them, very little impact. And that could have represented, you know, almost 200 gold worth of charms. Whereas, conversely, like a snow cake, just getting a card is much better, I think. Alright, I think we keep snow cake. Yeah, yeah, we need the Yuki to, like, destroy these things. Alright, so obviously this. Alright. Fine. gonna actually, let's see, so 24, yeah, we're gonna actually just kill this Grek immediately and pretty much solve the fight. I'm down with that. Um, do I need this guy in? Not particularly, but I will do it, I guess. Eh, let's start with this. Need this thing to be dead, and I don't have any snow in hand. Do I care about Woodhead? I don't. There's there's so much barrage that, like, I don't know that it really does anything. I might just want it to die here. I don't know. Let it die. And then... That. So I can take that hit and that hit. sort of taken care of. I'm gonna snow cake that one. Eh. Alright, let's go like this. Is my punching bag. So eight. I can survive eight, but then the frickin' papa is fine because it doesn't gain it yet, so we'll put this here, I guess. Yeah, seven. I live. That doesn't get the spikes yet. Waste the sun rod a little bit here, but let's do that so I can get Yuki going. Alright, 
We're gonna bring you back. My vote is Gromble for most annoying f enemy in the game. By far. I don't even gain that much gold by killing them all because I'm not really like comboing them, but what are you gonna do? Might as well let that hit that first. I'll kill this Grumble. Then I'll put that in. Kinda can't take this hit though, can I? You know what? I don't care about the Papa. Let's just finish this fight. Wait, I need to make sure that Peanut's not dying here. So two spikes, we're fine. And the most annoying fight is out of the way. I can get money for this, or Muncher, probably just Muncher. The charm, I'm not even going to have any faith anymore that the charm will do anything useful. Because I know it won't. We really don't need flame water. Alright, that's technically okay. Maybe on the jumbo. Still don't know if it's worth a shade slug. Let's take a look here. Molten dip could be okay. Pretty sure we just take the cursed crown though. Yeah, I'll take the cursed crown. Okay, so I'm gonna do it on the lemon vase, I think. Or I could just put it on Yuki. I mean, if he's starting with one, then I could start with Fulbert as well. Seems uh, reasonable. It's not like this is it has any downside other than my one attack goes away. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. All right, so we got our main floor here. And then we'll go Nourish on you. And I guess I will shade it, because fuck it. I'm not going to wait the entire game to use this thing. It's actually okay. I mean, Jumbo becomes decent here. And yeah, I'm not going to take an aimless storm. Bur I'm not going to take any storm bear spirit. Much less an aimless one. I don't even know how that would work. Now, yeah, Crunker, you're glad to have Snowcake against, for sure. Grink needs to get taken care of, that's for certain. Let's get you down first. I will blast you. Guarantee the Grink dies, I guess. Didn't <laughs> should have just snow caked it. Got a little overzealous. That's fine though. We'll blast this guy. Get this into play, I guess. Boom. 
three scrap. Well, I mean, if that's the case, I think I'm gonna use this Hongo hammer. It doesn't actually do any damage, so we can keep Yuki back there. I don't really care about the woodhead. Let's just do this then. The fuck? Oh, does that not count as a damage target? Apparently it doesn't. I need to do this. I mean, we're crushing it here because we got a strong deck, but I just got to point out again how much harder this fight is than the fucking uh, the other bullshit fight. It's like two ice forges we've had to deal with in a row. You got to freeze that, you got to freeze that. It's like there's so much you have to do. So fucking much. If you key take that out. Crunker is Definitely something we don't want to let attack. Let's try this first. God damn it. Well, this. Guess we do this, I don't know. He's dying to frost. Kunker actually kills his own guy here. I suppose that means we just get this guy ready to go. I should put Peanut in front, actually. Doesn't really matter, though. useless stuff. Um, granted, maybe Spark on Yuki sometimes could be good. You know, just take her out, try to redraw her blast, because all this other stuff sucks. I guess I could technically put a Fury Charm on Jumbo, but I'd rather hold out for, like, health, since I've already used up two charms. I suppose Fulbert could get the health. 
I guess I could do Infinity Sun Bell. I guess I could add damage to these. I wouldn't want to add damage to the Pepper Reaper is the problem. Not that I really use it that much. But it would invalidate the card pretty much. Yeah, these are just bad. Spark really doesn't do anything, and there's nothing that could really... I could pick up this late in the game that I would care to put it on, really, other than, I guess... I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe I could... I haven't seen any gnome merchants. Maybe I could gnome merchant some other clan's thing. I think we're just going to take this. Sometimes you just don't get a value... Uh, uh, you know, you don't get something. We got the... Uh, Infinity, or we got the uh, redraw bell, so that's good enough. Charm or Gnome Traveler? I don't like Gnome Traveler that much either. I feel like the, I don't need to add any more cards though, so I guess I'll go for Charm. Like I actually have every card I really need, so I might as well just make the current cards stronger. Durian. Can be so good sometimes, but this is not really it. Yeah, there's like nothing that it's good on here. Charms suck. Even when they're good, they're bad. So... Blaze Beetle can be a problem sometimes. All I need to do is draw Jumbo in time. One, two, three, four. We'd rather start with that guy. He's more of a problem. Did not get Jumbo, however. I can just freeze this guy. So I could do eight, nine, ten. I think we're better off just doing this. I was thinking of like Lumen Vasing. I think we just let the Lumen Vase die. Granted, I'm wasting damage here, but I might just have Yuki kill this if I can. It looks like I can. Jumbo will heal back from Blaze Beetle. And I could just kill this with this. Just losing the woodhead. All right, Yuki kills that. I'm 
like, how many gunk fruits do I want to add to my deck? Sun Charm Weevil. This charm is actually working against me in this fight. Maybe I should have kept the, uh, thing. I could have Fulbert die in this fight, I guess. I don't have much other of an option here. I'm fine losing all these cards other than, uh, we want Snowcake. Probably not there. Then we probably want you, uh, Sunrod. Yeah, we want Sunrod to stay. Oh, Jesus. That was a ton of fucking damage. Okay, I may have fucked up here by not, uh... I just need Yuki to hit twice, so... Let's have you attack first, I suppose. If I redraw, I'm guaranteed to get the, uh, the thing. Fuck. May have fucked myself here. God damn. So I'm still gonna lose. I forgot that the Gunk Gobbler would gain so much attack. I thought Jumbo was gonna survive that attack. I wonder if there's a way I could have Yuki survive this hit, maybe. I think there is. So I think I can win. Alright, we got through it. What a fucking horrible fight, though. We recovered from our mistakes. We are gonna have some problems there, but hopefully it's, uh, you know, doable. So it sucks that there's no woolly snail. I probably just do shade sculptor. I'm trying to think what I shade sculpt though, because I didn't actually charm anything. Is it just one more snow cake? It might be. I mean honestly, like with Yuki being my only real damage source, I think it's a snow cake. What else do I do? Hope for, like, good charms. Yeah, right. Um... I could do some shenanigans with... I was really hoping I could get something to use with your durian charm. But we didn't. I might take this just because it does give me a little bit of room if I can get the uh, thing where you redraw by putting a guy in and out. Not gonna like dupe it or anything though. It's still gonna dupe Snowcake. Is there any reason to dupe anything else? Sunrod might be the other one. Yuki. I mean, I technically already have three Snowcakes. Like maybe it is Sunrod. Alright, you can 
convinced me. Anything need to change here? I don't know that I like Fulbert in this fight, actually. I think we want Snoof in this fight. And I'll actually just crown the nest for this fight. I don't think I'll Durian charm anything. Because I don't want to randomly poison the Frost Guardian. Okay, it starts with the Rock Hog, that's great. This fight can be really annoying if you don't have the uh, Rock Hog. Alright, we're gonna freeze you. Do this. Get you in. You in. Probably just use the Pepper Reaper offensively here. We'll go like this. just completely tank that. Jumbo kinda... I actually want him to get... Frosting him helps me here, because then I don't do damage to that guy. So yeah, why don't we do that? Um, freeze you. Peanut kills Mimic. Yuki kills Bigfoot. Put some damage here. alive. But maybe start it on the path to death. It's going to be unavoidable pretty soon here. My ability to uh, not damage the Frost Guardian. Another guy coming in. Spike wall. Fucking hell. Okay, let's do. I mean, Snoof already hits this, so maybe we freeze the plum? I don't know. Probably just freeze the plum. I suppose we'll keep Jumbo in for now. Or I keep Grink in for now, I mean, until I can deal with all this. Kind of want to just wait on the Yuki. I definitely don't want to give these guys all that damage. Alright, after this turn, though, we gotta go in. So I suppose... We'll kill that now. And then we'll start doing this. We're just going to keep Plum locked down.
You're just gonna soak up those hits. Does this? You know what? Let's just do this. I don't know if I can really avoid this. We'll see. Yeah, whatever. Two. It's just time to delay it a little bit here. to rush anything. Kind of hurt me, actually. I should actually be, uh... probably just freezing this guy. Get rid of that. feeling okay about. Frost Lancer is my only concern. Yeah, whatever. Would have much preferred being able to take the people in and out for cooldown, but... Just have to make do with what we have. Alright, you're coming back in, Fulbert. I wonder, is Fulbert even better than Snoof here? I feel like he is. I feel like he is. Okay, where did that other crown go? I put it on Zoomlin Nest. I don't think I would want that crowned in this fight. Anything worth a Durian Charm at this point? I don't think so. Like, we want our gunk fruits to consume. And, yeah. Hongo Hammer still technically does more damage with the poison. Especially if I stack it with full root. Yeah, there's nothing it makes sense on. Unless, technically it makes... I don't even think it's better on Peanut, because... I can Lumen Vase Peanut and he starts doing more damage. Otherwise, I'm always damaging damage targets anyway. Yeah, there's just nothing it's better on. Uh, let's just fight. Alright, Frost Jailer. Got Jumbo. Pretty shitty that both of these have trash. That's gonna be a problem. Huge fucking problem. I'm about to delay this guy. Not afford to lose Yuki. Okay.
can afford to lose Fulbert. So we'll go here and we'll lose Woodhead, whatever. This motherfucker is so annoying. Okay, I can kill G. How have I not, like. Hindsight, Snoof would have been better. I would have at least been snowing Jailer. Alright, we're gonna go here. Seven. Um, man, I'd love to get rid of the Pepper Reaper here, but if it's got to be Zoomlin Nest, then it's got to be Zoomlin Nest. Move my guys around, so I need to remember that. Still probably makes sense to keep I need I really need to keep Jumbo alive. Lancer here. Maybe not. All right, if I do this, does he live? Because you would do seven, I'm at five, then I'm at Six, seven. This guy still kills, but I don't think I have much else of an option here. I mean, this guy's the fucking problem, so maybe we just go like this. Chunker is the problem. I definitely want to get rid of the Hongo. We'll just get you ahead, I guess. Kill that guy. I think we're on our way to victory here, but I really need the junk to stop piling up now. Alright, you're gonna take all the hits. Just need 
that guy locked down. Yeah, we got this. That was kind of a miserable run, uh, but we got through it. Definitely glad to have Yuki, put it that way. Alright, let's do this again. Frost Crusher is dead. finally did the play. Technically it was relevant. And time for you to die. Miserable run in my estimation, but I will take it. I thought for sure we were gonna die in the junk fight. Or not the junk fight, but the gunk fight. But we did it. We got through it. Yeah, that run... Fulbert did not perf he's, He performed, I guess, okay in some fights, but he didn't do what I usually expect from him. To be fair, we didn't really get offered that much shell, and... I mean, we literally only got offered, like, what, one Pepper Reaper and one shell, and that was it. And it's pretty hard to make the uh, this charm work on Fulbert, so... It was about as low roll for Fulbert as you might ex expect. And most of the charms were pretty much useless. The Jumbo was the only one that was useful because I was able to tank a lot of hits there. And I guess maybe the Acorn was somewhat useful. Who knows, maybe it pushed me over the thresholds at the end. Couldn't really use the Zoomlin Nest. Um... But, you know, Snowcake and Yuki carried the run, essentially. The other cards didn't do much. Thank God for Yuki. And uh, Peanut was alright. I liked the overall benefit that it provided, but I wouldn't say it's like a top-tier leader. It didn't seem like a top-tier leader or anything, but it did alright. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.